All right, I've been Telefetto, Mr. Telefetto TV. All right, Big Knife, a chance to rap at the Grammys. He literally swept every category that he was in. All right, I want you guys to comment your responses below um, and tell me what you think about Chance the Rapper winning the uh, categories that he was in, and then we'll we'll go from there. All right. First and foremost, he won Best New Artist. Um, I thought that was a no brainer with these guys. Um, look, I ain't even heard of a couple people. Anderson Pack is maybe I feel like he should have been in this category next year. Um, I think Chance the Rapper deserved to win Best New Artist, uh, Best Rap Performance. He won with no problem with Two Chains and Wayne. I'm, I think this is contingent on their performance on the Ellen Show. I couldn't find any other performances. If you go look at that Ellen performance of of, of No Problem, it was pretty dope, y'all. I think he was supposed to win there, and I think the most controversial topic that Tr Chance the Rapper won is Best Rap Album. But if you ask me, I don't think it was that 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 big of a, a controversial thing. Chance won Best Rap Album over De La Soul. Over uh, Khaled's Major Key, over Drake's Views, Schoolboy Q's Blank Face LP, and, and The Life of Pablo. I don't think, be honest with y'all, man. I don't think Schoolboy Q's album had any business being in this category. Um, I don't think De La Soul's project had the notoriety from mainstream America to be considered best rap album. Sorry, guys. Um, so then it comes down to Khaled, Drake, and Ye. I just think it's hard to give best rap album to Khaled because he's not a rapper, even though he does compromise great songs. Um, I'm I'm cool on that. It didn't it didn't, that that major key album felt like a lot of records. It didn't feel like it was put together in some form or fashion as a body. So that gets me down to views and the life of Pablo. I think it's tough to consider Drake's views a rap album. There was raps on it, but Hotline Bling, One Dance, these are more just pop-themed huge records that just so happen to have a rapper on them, if that makes any sense in the world. So I'm I'm cool with Drake's views not getting it, Life of Pablo, and Coloring Book. Um, well, here's the thing. Chance helped produce a lot of Life of Pablo, and I just think up and down – Chance's coloring book. I watched him do every song live in Chicago. I just think Chance had the better. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure of it. I just think coloring book was a better project up and down than Life of Pablo. Um, Kanye is still Kanye, but I just thought Chance's coloring book. Every song there was a song for everybody on the album. Whether you were a, a Lil Wayne Tunchy fan or whether you were like a, a guy that like the music is all we got or Smoke Break or even uh. The mixtape record with if I'm the only one that still care about a mixtape. I just thought everywhere with Thug, I just thought everywhere that there was something for you. Um, I just thought it was a great body of work, and I thought Chance should have been best rap album. And y'all know Chance is somebody that I said, I think in the future he's the only guy that could be bigger than Drake from a popularity standpoint in the future, right? Like, I think Big Sean is lyrically better than Drake now. I think Cole can go bar to bar with Drake, but I don't think from a popularity standpoint, Sean or or Cole could ever defeat Drake. I actually think Chance, because he's so young, so energetic, he's so outspoken, he gives God the praise. He reaches out to a lot of gospel audiences, as you see last night. I think he had Tamala Man and Kirk Franklin in his performance. I actually think Chance the Rapper could be more popular than Drake. He's only 23, 24 years old. I think in the future he could be be as popular as Drake. I think he's the only guy right now in rap that could come for that feat. Like, like I said, Drake is the only guy that could come for Hov. Um, I don't think Drake would be at better than Hov or more popular than Hov, but I think he can get close because he's gonna he, he touches so many audiences. I think Chance can one day, if he keeps putting out these projects and keep having a message behind his music, could one day – be as big from a popularity standpoint as Drake. All right, what do you think about the Grammys and my opinions as well, my commentary? Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. It's MrT.com coming soon. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, Make sure you hit me up at booking at his Again, that's booking 
at it's mistellerfeld.com.